guys, it's Doris from Look Amazing and I'm back with our top 5 best of beauty video and today I'm actually going to be talking about our top 5 facial cleansers and if you haven't been following along, our top 5 beauty series pretty much features the top most highly raved about products by editors as well as YouTubers and the ones that are also the best selling ones at department stores and drugstores. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave me comments down below. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started and tell you guys about my first impressions and reviews about the top five that we found. So the first cleanser I have here is Philosophy's Purity Made Simples One Step Facial Cleanser. And this one had been topping the charts on Allure's Best of Beauty for, I would say, 2012 and 2014. So always kind of a consistent top seller and highly raved about. And so I don't know why I haven't tried it until now. I think back then I had, I don't know why I thought Philosophy's products were a little bit more on the sweet fragrance side. I think maybe because I got gifted a holiday set once and kind of made that assumption, but I was very wrong because this product actually has such a very nice fresh scent and it's, let me try to describe to you guys in a little bit more detail. Mm. Oh, I can't even describe it. Let's try this. A little bit of woody scent, but also very clean and fresh at the same time. So. Overall, the texture, I would have to say, is more, I would say, on the milkier side of a cleanser. So, very great for people who have dry or sensitive skin. You really can feel that hydration when you're cleansing, so it doesn't feel like your skin is getting stripped. But it's, it's gentle enough, but also strong enough to get rid of all your makeup and any kind of debris that you have on your face, because I tried it with both my makeup on, not having used a makeup remover, and I did a really great job removing makeup. So I would say oil-based makeup like eyeliner and mascara, it had a little bit more of a difficult time, but overall everything else I felt like it did a pretty good job without feeling like my face was really dry or stripped. So yeah, highly recommend this one and I'm just sad I didn't get to try it earlier. So the next cleanser I have here is by Eve Lom and this is one of the luxurious cleansers out there. Very highly raved about and in vogue. I believe they called it the best cleanser in the world. So, and I just had to try it. I think it's a little bit more on the pricier side of cleansers, but I can now see why because it also comes with a muslin cloth which uh, they come with a seven step skincare process that you can use with the product and basically it's using the product to apply on your face and do a little bit of a skincare I would say massage to get your blood flowing and to make your skin actually healthier um, kind of in combination with cleansing and the last step is to heat or I would say put hot or I would say warm to hot water, soak the muslin cloth in that, and then apply it on your face to kind of give this mask, I would say, treatment at the end, but it really allows the product to penetrate deeper. So, now back to the product itself. The texture, I would say, is the balm texture, which is really similar, I would say, to the Vanilla Co. cleanser that I had featured in our top five makeup cleansing video. And that one, I would say, is very similar when you start with it, but this one, when you start to warm it up on your hand or your face, it doesn't turn into oil like the Vanilla Co. one, but instead it turns into, when you apply water on it, forms more of a milkier texture and that's when it starts kind of cleansing away either your makeup or just anything else you have on your face and I would say it does a really great job of removing makeup overall I would say the same thing with the philosophy one wasn't super great at removing everything around the eyes especially eyeliner mascara but around the face area a really really good job too and also doesn't feel stripped or dry after you use it so yeah I would actually I would say the scent wise also very spa like and relaxing so a little bit therapeutic I would say in terms of using this product so I can see why a lot of people are raving about it. Mm. And the next cleanser I have here is by Kiehl's and this is their Ultra Facial Cleanser and this one is more of a I would say gel consistency and it comes out pretty much clear and it forms a little bit of a stickier texture, less creamy than the Philosophy one, but I would say it does also a really good job of cleansing. And this one, it says it's great for all skin types, so I have 
normal skin, so a lot of the products are great for my skin type, but I know a lot of people who have sensitive skin also really recommend this one too. So it does really do a good job without over drying the skin. So the next one I have here is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap, and this is in their mild formula. They have a couple other different formulas depending on your skin type. So this one I would say is a very close dupe to the Kiehl's one. Similar texture, also similar effect in the sense that it does, you know, cleanse the face really well without feeling like it's really dry. And it's also great for, this one is great for dry combination skin. So I've been using this mostly in the winter just because I want something a little bit less stripping. So yeah, so both of these I would say very similar almost if you wanted to do a blind test on these two couldn't really tell you the difference so yeah also fragrance free and these both are really top sellers at um, Sephora as well as department stores so and so the last cleanser I have here is a top one at the drugstore and this one is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This one is for normal to oily skin. So this one is highly raved about with by people who have acne or sensitive skin because it just does a really great job of cleansing without excess drying and it helps remove excess oil as well. So yeah, so this is a great one, very affordable, and I would say a go-to one if you guys are just starting into skincare and are not sure what cleanser to try out. This is always a really good one to start with and kind of start experimenting from there. So yeah, so I think overall, you know, the top ones that we found are for different skin types, so you guys really should try what matches your skin. So I would say for me, my personal preference, I would say has to be the Eve Lama one for its, I would say, luxurious and there was something special in terms of the formula that I hadn't tried before and also I love the solid formula because this is something great for travel but I also really love the Philosophy and Kiehl's one so I would say these three out of the five were my favorites. So I hope you guys enjoy that and if you do have any questions you can leave me comments down below and also if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye!